Those of you who were here for BSC Ken 2004, the first one, you will recall probably that I printed off all the receipts on eight and a half by 11 paper and inserted them to a nice little neat brown paper bag. We didn't have tote bags. We didn't have any catering. Uh, we were selling soft drinks and more stuff in the hallway. We didn't have any Wi-Fi. Um, all of these changes are possible because of sponsors and university becoming more high tech, like having Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Um, so Tarsnap is the uh, t-shirt sponsor this year. Thank you, Colin. FreeBSD Foundation are supplying the tote bags. Thank you to the FreeBSD Foundation. Sysfy Back Off and Department of Computer Science, Western Washington University have all uh, provided travel for the speakers to the conference. That is a big help. Thank you very much. Oh, no. um, Michael Dexter, you asked me to put this up, but the CFP is closed now, isn't it? Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, volunteers. You all know the, the name Drew Levine and Warren Block, I'm sure. They're helping out at the registration desk. Adam Thompson takes a big load off of me by doing all the hotel and website updates. Um, and who who has never carried a box at BSD Can? Never, never carried a box. <laughs> I'm infamous for... Uh, corralling people at the last second and say, hey, come with me. I have a box you need to carry for me, please. Uh, everything gets transported around in, in an SUV and stored at my parents' house overnight. And in the morning, I need help bringing it back up from the basement. The program committee. Most of you should know all of these names. They've been around for a while. Um, I can't select the talks without their help. They also provide information, uh, valuable advice as to, you know, should we do this, should we do that? So thank you very much to the program committee. We have a video team. This stuff is gonna be recorded and uploaded to YouTube. Uh, be a little careful with what you say in the room because apparently there's a hot mic out there somewhere, but we're not actually taking that feed. So if you're whispering rude comments, I'll hear them later. <laughs> Thank you to Patrick and Andrew. Patrick and Andrew, put up your hands, please. You're probably not both in the room. There, there's one back there and one down here. So there we go. That was supposed to be the first slide. There's a second slide. Overhead mic, I've already told you. It's been a long time. It feels way, well longer. Last time was here is 2019. We're going to rush through this. Things have changed all over the place, and we're here now. Um, Royal Oak. Royal Oak got sold off at the beginning of the pandemic because it was one of the only two pieces of real estate they owned. And they'd just gone on a big venture. They needed to sell it. It's now owned by the University of Ottawa. We're at the father and sons last night. People were there seems okay it might do as a replacement for the royal oak so now we're going to start new traditions over there there is also an iirc iirc strike and this is nothing to do with recall it is i got it written down here immigration it's the people who issue the visas for people coming in for overseas that need a visa some people didn't get visas um, there's also a WestJet strike that said it's not a record attendance the current record was set in 2015 and 2019. Um, There's also the Victoria Day long weekend. People aren't used to going conferences, so the, they don't have it in their habit. Um, but PGCon 2023 is also down. And I hear other things like music camps are also down for, for attendance. Thank you, Colin. We've already seen this slide that sort of shows us how things have, have sort of dropped over the years. Um, but I'm not worried about it. We, this year is smaller than the first year, in fact, but it'll take people a few years to get ready to come back again. Now, this uh, just got to change something. You like the like the shirt? This is going to come in a second here as to why I'm wearing this shirt. It's lovely hot. We got to get rid of it. <laughs> This is a sight joke for those watching the video. I'm wearing another run, B, run BSD t-shirt underneath of it. 
<laughs> and I just drank from my Run BSD um, sweatshirt. So this was given to me by my boss at Cisco. <clears throat> 10 years ago, I didn't know Ran BSD anywhere, but they're a heavy free BSD shop. Not on the networking side, but they do have Iron Port and Snort and stuff like that. I'm on the security side. I had this shirt for many months until I I'll wait for the photograph to be taken. And then I found out it's a spoof. I didn't know that. I, I had no idea. Uh, for those like me, Run DMC is an American hip hop group. They're very well known. They've been around for ages and they're basically um, one of the most influential groups in the history of hip hop. I had no idea. <laughs> Father and Sons, they have really good sweet potato fries. I know because I've ordered two, two servings and they're, they're huge servings. So try them. Um, indoor and outdoor <clears throat> masks, please wear them. This is for yourself and for everyone else around you. Um, we've already gone through the sponsors. You see, what we did first is I went through the closing slides first. So sorry. So thanks to the sponsors. Thanks to the sponsors. But we need more sponsors. And I think it's like people coming to conferences. They're out of the habit of sponsoring, so they haven't put it into the budget. So please, if you work with someone who is inclined to sponsor, get them to put it into their budget for next year. Hacker Lounge. Most of you should know about the Hacker Lounge. It's open to all of us. It's in university. It's U90. There's a question at the box. Can you get them to not require me to show up to get the key each day to open it? Anyone can, should be able to open it. Anyone should be able to grab the key. Is that a problem? They're not giving the key out? Yes. <clears throat> well, they'll give it to me, apparently. But there's anybody else getting it yet? Bugger. So we okay. I didn't okay. know if we could get them to just open it at six o'clock and leave it open. But yeah, they're not willing to do that. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to my coordinator and ask about that. Thank you. Um, you don't have to be staying in residence. It's on the ground floor. It's the big building, sort of straight over there. If you look on the conference <laughs> map, top right. Top right corner of the web page, you can click, you can get a map and see where it is. You have, to have a residence key to get this. They will buzz you in, I hope. So if you're trying to again, just say you're going to the hacker lounge and they should let you in. Um, that didn't used to be the case four years ago. You could just walk straight in. So I think they've improved security. Um, you don't have to be coding. Uh, extension cords. Are we short on extension cords in the hacker lounge? Maybe tonight. Seemed to be okay when I was there. Um, but if you do have extension cords or whatever, bring them, share them. Um, and that question has already been answered. It's not being open. Uh, onto a personal note, if anyone's interested in the FreeBSC port security SSSD and they use Kerberos as a great replacement, I'm looking for more people to take on the job of getting it updated to more recent versions that aren't four years old. Um, but we started to use it at work and it's very useful and we could use help with the really heavy parts. Uh, your registration bags, lanyards and badge holders. If you want to keep them, if it's nostalgic, keep them. But if you give back the, the lanyard and the badge holder, I'll donate it away to a, a camp for um, uh, kids with sight disabilities down in Philadelphia. I have a friend who runs a summer camp <laughs> and it's a registered charity. Uh, return uh, return bags will probably be donated to a local food bank here or a food bank in Philadelphia. They use that. They can use it all the time. If you've never been to a BSD can before, you will find it very unusual during the closing session that I start auctioning off items that people have lost and have been found. In fact, technically, I have to auction off this pen that's in my pocket because I lost it and then I found it the next day. And since I'm part of the program committee, I really have to auction off my own pen. So this has been used to write checks for BSD CAN. So I'm sure it's very valuable and it's been transported <laughs> across state lines and international borders. So this will be up for auction at the auction. And if I don't auction it off, please remind me because I've forgotten. Basically, all the money goes to the Ottawa Mission, which is just, just down the road. They do very good work with drug rehab, um, job placement, stuff like that. It's a valuable charity. So bring your cash and credit cards, swag. We will take any form of payment. It doesn't have to be Canadian currency. 
they can handle it as per mission. Um, there it goes. Uh, so what we percussion? Okay, we will be auctioning off some BSD Ken specific stuff. We got swag donated a few years ago that didn't get auctioned off then. We'll be auctioning it off uh, this time. I have a fresh ports relic, a document that I wrote years ago on a scrap of paper that I found in my closet just before coming down. So we'll auction that off. There's a famous author's gardening exploits that would be sold off as well. Fresh veggies for your personal consumption. If you lose anything, it will be found and then auctioned off at the end of the event. And whoever buys it will actually give it back to you, hopefully. <laughs> but I, at PGCon, we did have someone auction, uh, buy back their jacket for about $200. And they were fine with that. I'm sure it was an expense, uh, business expense. <laughs> the closing social, how are we doing? We're not too bad. Well, closing social. It's at the Sens House, short for the Senators, which is the local hockey team. It's about 10 minute walk in that direction. It's on the map. Um, you can find it. We're going to leave straight from here after the auction and go there. Um, we have exclusive use of the upstairs until nine o'clock. And then, then they're going to open up to the part public and there's going to be loud music up there. If you don't want that, come on downstairs. There'll be more loud music. But while we're there, there won't be any, any music. Uh, <laughs> Most of us socialize to talk and find out what, what we've been doing, get caught up, make plans. So the music doesn't help. Um, I'll be handing out drink tickets. That should be an incentive. Uh, and there'll be plenty of food. Don't eat up before you go. There's going to be more food than you can eat, I promise you. Um, this is not meant to put anyone on the spot, but who is here for the very first time and has never been to BSG CAN before? Okay, keep your hands up. How many, this is your first, you've been to a BSD conference before, take down your hand. So this is your very first BSD conference. So that's about eight people. So thank you, welcome, we're a fun group. So any questions? be anything at all all right have fun on to the talks tip your speakers and i'll see you tomorrow i'll be here all day thanks <laughs>